welcome WBP Stas in uh, Oku restaurants, uh, situated in the Oku Hotel in Ibiza, San Antonio. Um, we're going to show you some uh, cuts from uh, tuna today. Um, this is an akame piece. It's the back piece of the tuna, nice and red, and it has uh, also some uh, chu toro um, in it. You can see the, the color difference from red going to a bit leaner uh, part. And then you have this nice side part as well, which we can use as chu toro. We're gonna make some dishes with the, uh, some nice dish of our signature dish with the, um, with the akame part. It's a tuna tata with a fried potato, caviar, and a fried, a fried egg. So now I'm gonna make a sako block from the, um, from the akame. So I take this part off and cut it in nice to in a nice sako. Very important to clean your knives all the time. Very important to clean your cutting board all the time. Keep it nice and clean. So this is the sako blocks, which you can use later to cut sashimi or um, whatever cut you want for the nigiri cut. Or we're gonna make a tata of this. We kind of cut it in, uh, let's say, a bit bigger blocks. Not, we're not going to do a chopped uh, tata, but a nice uh, cubed cha -cha tata. cubes not too big not too small that you have this nice bite in the tuna in your tata that's what we want we don't want to mush it up too much we want to keep the structure of the of the tuna You see, this is the really nice and lean part of the of the tuna. Not much fat fat involved, and we're gonna add later. We're gonna add some egg yolk, some fried egg, to make it a bit more sticky and a bit more fatty. So this is the tata, and we're gonna continue later to mix it with all the ingredients. So now we continue cutting chives um, in my. Uh, vision you can see if you hire a chef and you want to uh, test him on the skills let him cut negi uh, spring onion or chives because then you see you will see how they can cut and uh, what their skills are um, it's important of course the knives uh, I have a nice Japanese knife from Roy uh, which is a VG10 steel very sharp and uh, of course the freshness of the, the chives but also the skills of cutting it which is very important, is that you don't press the chives because then you get this really uh, penetrant, uh, like overruling onion taste, which you don't want. You really have to slice the chives instead of crushing it. You will also see it on the cutting board. If you cut chives and you crush it, you will see the cutting board is green. So let's continue. Now 
now you'll see the cutting board is not green and the chives has the same color as it had before so it doesn't get turn any darker that you don't push the liquid out you just keep it nice and green this is what we want So the dish we're going to prepare today is um, a, dish made, a signature dish made from uh, Balfego tuna with an akame piece of, um, of tuna, the back piece. So very nice and red, lean, um, nice color. We chopped it in small cubes and we're going to prepare with some uh, emulsion of uh, oyster sauce, sesame oil, um, some shallots, nicely cut chives and our oil made from chives as well. So we just cut, uh, we just, uh, cut the chives, put it in the blender and um, crush it with maldon and uh, vegetable oil. Nice green color. Some shallot, nicely diced. Chopped chives. Mix it. So you get a nice sticky. We don't use any salt. The emulsion of uh, oyster sauce should be enough to to flavor the tuna. Yes. Then we dress it in a ring. Don't press it. Don't um, push it too much. Just leave the nice texture of the of the tuna tata we drizzle a bit of uh, chives oil around it on top nice tata then on top place a nice disc of potato, crispy, just grated on the Japanese mandolin and then fried in vegetable oil, like this. Don't compress it too much. On top of this we have a nice fried egg. Place it in the middle. And then we add a nice canal of caviar. This is Russian Asetra caviar. Like this. Nice dot here. And then we have a couple of nice pieces of tuna to show the redness color of the beautiful tuna. And as we always say here in the kitchen, we present it on a wabi-sabi way, so it is, we're looking for imperfection, for perfection and imperfection. So we don't place like the three cubes exactly the same way, just plate it nice and naturally and we will finish it off at the table. Finish off our signature dish on the table. Um, we present it this way, we, I just showed you. On the table, we always go um, to, to smash the dish and to eat it like it should be eaten, because otherwise we have the, you have the chance that they eat a piece of the potato, a bit of caviar, a bit of egg. But I like to go to the table and mix the dish up with the caviar, the potato, um, and then I think it's the nicest way to eat it, is this. Because the, the egg yolk also sticks all the ingredients a bit together, makes it nice and fatty. Don't use too much egg white, that's why we um, cut the egg whites off. And then this is the best way to eat it. Enjoy and hope to see you soon in our restaurant in Ibiza, Oku restaurant.